Return of the Mount Hua Sect Chapter 206 This grandfather's rod is quite painful. Tong Hock was filled with anger to the point that he felt his head would burst soon. Are you making fun of me? Even more upsetting was the fact that he couldn't refute their words. He was not a nameless man, but his fame had barely spread across the land of the Tang family. It couldn't be compared to Mount Hua's divine dragon, which was a name that now resonated with the world. Who was Mount Hua's divine dragon? Wasn't he someone who had the best shot at being the best in the world? Someone who trampled on the five dragons despite being wounded? He was a person who was rumored to have defeated Mujin of the Wudang sect. No matter how shameless Tang Hak was, it was obvious that him calling Chong Myung for a spar was wrong. But did they have to openly poke fun at him? Don't they know of honor? It wasn't the behavior of a Taoist to openly discuss and ridicule the weaknesses of their opponents. How could a person with such a high status act like a local thug? Furthermore, how dare you send a woman against me? And even worse, if the woman loses, it is his defeat. Clench. Tong Hock clenched his fist so hard that his nails dug into the palm of his hand. Never once had he thought he would have to go against a woman. For those who lived in the Tang family, this was a natural thought. Because in this family, women do not get to learn the family's legacy. But now, in front of him, there was a female swordsman of Mount Hua pointing her sword. Lord! Tang Hock shouted. Are you acknowledging this? Instead of answering, Tang Gunak looked at Tang Hock, Yu Yisor, and Chong Myung. Checking the tired face of Chong Myung, he again looked at Tang Hock with an expressionless face. He must have his motives. It was true. Chong Myung was rude, inconsiderate, and filthy enough to touch other people's belongings and was someone who even tried to take away the legacies of their families. Still, he isn't someone to shy away from a fight. It doesn't matter. Are you saying that if the woman loses, you will let me be the successor? Do you mean that I will take back my words? Tong Hock flinched at those words. Unable to find a way out, he turned his head to Tang Wei. That pathetic idiot! Tang Wei thought. If his grandson looked at him in front of so many people, wouldn't they know he was the one behind this? Of course, it was different from guessing and knowing it for certain, since a lot of people didn't have the brains to figure it out. What are you thinking, Mount Hua's divine dragon? You brat. Tang Wei looked at Chong Myung. There is no upset stomach. Does it make sense that the person with the name of Mount Hua's divine dragon would have an upset stomach from having just a little too much food? Was he really a master? Or did he notice the poison? That is impossible, right? No, he couldn't have figured it out. But he must have noticed that his body was acting weird. So, he sent out the girl. Even if she didn't win, it would be justifiable. If the girl lost, Mount Hua would still be able to save face. It seems it won't be possible to kill Mount Hua's divine dragon here. It cannot be helped. First of all, I have to know if the poison was discovered or not. Of course, the Lord would be furious if it was discovered, but he wouldn't be able to take back his words by then. In that case, he would have to bend his back and work a little harder. We have to push him further. Tang Wei nodded. Tang Hak, who got the permission, looked at Yu Yi Sol. I will make you pay for the price of this arrogance. Yu Yi Sol took her stance and said, the disciples of Mount Hua do not fight with their mouths. Till the very end! Tang Hak clenched his teeth and shoved his hand into his pockets. Be careful! Tang Hak's eyes were dyed blue. I will be using poison in this bar. This wasn't because Tang Hak was someone who was kind enough to warn her, but anyone in the Tang family who used poison in the spar had to inform their opponent about it beforehand. That was the rule set by the family. Sure. However, Yu Yi Sol just calmly accepted his words. And then their eyes met. Tang So So looked at the stage with a trembling face. What are you doing? 
She couldn't understand Yu Yi So. Just who was Tang Hak? Among the descendants of the Tang family, Tang Hak was said to be the best. Although he lost the chance to become the successor because he wasn't the son of the Lord, everyone knew that Tang Pei fell short of this man. And Yu Yi Sir would now have to deal with him. S Stop it! Nuna! Tang Zhan pulled the hem of her clothes. Calm down! If Nuna goes out now, they will all laugh at you. But what if she cannot deal with him? If something goes wrong, she can lose her life! Tang Soso -so desperately pleaded. Yu Yi Sir was the only person who understood her situation and wanted to help her. She didn't want such a person to fall at the hands of the Tang family's poison. Do you think she is standing up there without knowing that? What? She went up there knowing full well what might happen. She is a warrior. Do not disrespect her. From the moment one steps onto the stage, there is no difference between a man and a woman. It is one warrior against another. Do not interfere with that. Tang Soso's eyes trembled. Then, to open the path. Tang Soso looked at Yu Yi Sir. She looked at her expressionless face. Tang Hak shuddered as he saw her take a step forward. If you knew who I was, you wouldn't have dared to deal with. You talk a lot. Yu Yi Sir frowned. It wasn't like she hated talking. It was because this man was a nasty talker, the likes of which she hadn't seen anywhere in the world. And each word he said felt offensive. If you want to die, then I'll grant it. Tang Hak's hand touched his sleeve, and the slightly cut sleeves fluttered in the air. Be prepared. Tang Hak pulled out something at the speed of light, and dozens of needles flew towards Yu Yi Sir. Judging from the black color of the needles, they had to have had poison applied to them. Yu Yi Sir's sword moved slowly, slowly. It was soft and graceful. It was more like a dance rather than swordsmanship. <coughs> Yu Yi Sir's sword swept away the needles. It was appropriate to say that the sword had swept the needles away. The needles which came in with sharp force lost their force and fell to the ground abruptly. Huh, <laughs> surely they can't be done again. Tang Hak repeated his actions without delay. Swish! This time, it was blue daggers that flew towards Yu Yi Sir. The tip of Yu Yi Sir's sword was aimed precisely at them, and the moment they touched, her sword twisted lightly and hit the side of the daggers. As the sword was just to divert the weapons, the daggers went back to Tang Hak without losing their momentum. <clears throat> Tang Hak couldn't hide his shocked expression as he witnessed this unexpected situation. How dare you! Tang Hak's face was red. He felt ashamed seeing his own weapons coming back at him. He embraced the power of the ghost poison claw in his hand to the fullest to catch them out of the air. Swish! There was the sound of metal being scraped against metal as his hand collided with the knives. Recovering the daggers that had lost their force, Tang Hak went for it. But he didn't move hastily like before. I can do it. He didn't want to admit it, but this woman was stronger than he thought. When they said that Tang Zhan had been disgraced by Jogul, he thought that the disciples of Manhua were strong. But, if you weren't a woman, you could have taken me down. This is the result of you not being born a man. Yu Yi Sir smiled. What is so funny? I was thinking. About what? About why you're so weak. You are a man, right? You! None of those things are important. The only important thing is... Yu Yi Sir's sword was aimed at Tang Hak's neck. If you are weak or not... Tang Hak couldn't control his anger anymore. He was looking at Yu Yi Sir with raging eyes. You must have a death wish. If that's what you want, I will grant it for you. Tang Hak's hand went into his sleeve. The difference was that this time it was a little deeper than before, and Tang Ganak noticed it. The people of the Tang family were confident people who kept their daggers and poison needles in their sleeves. However, Tang Hak was different. Should I try it? He liked to use lethal poisons. 
If he did, the new Yeezer would end up taking huge damage, and the outcome would be his win. Tang Hak suddenly pulled out his hand. Chuck! There was a different sound from before. This was a clear noise, but nothing could be seen. But Yu Yisar swung her sword in a clear manner as if she could see something. Ka -ka 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 From her sword, small sparks could be noticed. What? At that moment, the top people in the Tang family, the spectators, and the warriors of the family all jumped up. And then they all looked at the stage in anticipation. D that! It was only after the flying object had fallen to the floor that they confirmed what it was. Cow hair needles! They were called as such because they were as thin as a cow's hair. And since it flew at high speed, no one could see it with their eyes. Yu Yi Sol too judged that it would be difficult to take them down one by one, so she used the blade of the sword and covered herself. But it wasn't perfect. Yu Yi Sol lowered the sword and bit her lip. She looked at her left shoulder. A fine thin needle that couldn't be seen with the naked eye was nailed into her flesh. There was just one. And she pulled it out. She wondered if there was anything wrong with being stabbed with one small needle. And she pulled it out. Seeing that the tip of the fine needle was stained black, she threw the needle to the floor. Poison. Her shoulder throbbed. The problem was that the pain was gradually increasing and the range of pain she could feel was widening. At this rate, her left arm would soon go numb. You should have known to fear the Tang family. Tang Ha continued, If even one of them hits, you are done. The true power of the Tang family comes from our poison. If you ask for forgiveness now, I will spare you. Poison. Right. Are you so stupid to not even know your own body's condition? Yu Yi Sol mumbled. You seriously are stupid. What? You think you will stand until the poison spreads? You? With that, Yu Yi Sol rushed towards Tang Hak. Stupid bitch! You thought I wouldn't have thought of that. Tang Hak swung his arms wide. Some type of dust spread out from his sleeves and obscured the visibility on the stage. Broken soul sand. The sand, laden with poison, blocked Yu Yi So's attack path. And with time, this poison would affect her too. So, normally, now was the time people would retreat. But Tang Hak made a mistake. Mount Hua, at least the disciples who practiced along with Chong Myung, didn't know how to retreat. The tip of Yu Yi So's sword began to tremble. And then it bloomed. Her own plum blossom. Dozens of them began to bloom and swept the clouds created by the broken soul sand with a gust of wind. Ugh. When Tang Hak saw the sand approaching him, he felt shocked. He was unlikely to be affected by the poison, but his vision would be obscured. Unable to find a place to move, he slammed the floor to jump up. But at that moment, Tang Hak had clearly seen it the plum blossom sword that suddenly rose up from the mist of the sand. His eyes widened like they would pop out. Why is it coming from there, in the middle of the sand? But he couldn't think anymore. Pah! The sword struck his face, which was exposed. Uh! Soon, he fell to the ground. Uh! Tang Hak shook his head to get rid of the pain. And in the place where the sand clean. And in the place where the sand cleared, he could see Yu Yisar standing there with the clear dark aura on her face. Cri- Insane! She didn't move back to avoid the sand. She hid inside it and avoided the gaze of Tang Hak despite being poisoned. You're insane! I did tell you. Yu Yisar said calmly, You are weak. You don't get to say you are strong without ever having a proper fight. No matter how strong you are, there will be someone above you at all times. And he was never Yu Yiso's opponent. <clears throat> I... I... Puck. Tang Hak, who was about to get up, got hit in the head by Yu Yiso's sword and fell again. She began to hit him on the head with the sword repeatedly. Baek Chun, who looked at it, mumbled. The head, the head, 
The head is... Ugh, the head. Yun Zhong trembled as he looked at it. No, even when we were taught this way, does she have to perform it so openly? Their sorrow as they watched it couldn't be compared to the suffering of Tang Hak. Dud and Tang Hak, who kept having his head pounded, fell to the ground and seeing his entire body convulsing brought tears to the eyes of the others. You! At that moment, Sago, come on! Chong Myung suddenly got up on the stage and grabbed Yu Yisol and pulled her to him. The sooner the poison is treated, the better! Yu Yisol nodded and followed him down the stage. She looked back at Tang Hak, lying down. Just a joke. And then looked at Chong Myung. He is so different. Although this seemed like a joke, Chong Myung took Yu Yi Sir and went to Tang Genak and held out his hand. Give it to me, the antidote. Tang Genak gave it to him right away without much thought. This should be fine. Tch. Chong Myung gave the medicine to Yu Yi Sir and then frowned. Why were you fighting so recklessly? I didn't want to breathe the same air as him. Huh? He felt glad Tang Hak hadn't heard this. Chong Myung nodded and turned around. The poison spreading will affect it if it isn't treated right, so do it right. What about you? Me? Chong Myung chuckled. I need to go and get my present. His gaze fell on Tang Wei, who was near the stage. Well, maybe I should say I'm giving a present to him. Chong Myung tapped the handle of his plum blossom sword. Be prepared. This grandfather's rod is quite painful.